Hello everyone, this video is going to be a general guide to using the generating scripts in the Broccoli Treehouse building aids. At the moment of making this video, these include uh, these three global storages which have round things generator, follow path and helix generator. I'm going to show these off with two examples. The first is going to be a helix between these two surfaces and then I'm going to generate some stones along this path that I've pre-made. So let's start with the helix between these two surfaces. I'm going to generate them in this lever on this on switch on event. So with helix I'm going to go to my instructions, helix generator and I'm going to choose the generate helix that has the pitch height in it. And we're not doing a long path, it's just a normal straight helix. So our first parameter is a reference point that is the center of the helix and the bottom or where it starts. And I've already placed this reference point on this surface. The next parameter is the pitch height, which is the distance between each turn of the um, helix. I'm just going to make that one. Oops. And let's have a radius of two. And the length, well, we want it to be between those two surfaces. And instead of just calculating that, I'm going to be lazy and use the outwards measure tool, which is included, which makes it a lot easier. So the snapping is on. And here. I'm going to scale that up so it goes to both surfaces, and that looks good. So in the lever, we're going to go laser measure. I'm going to remove it because we don't need it for anything else. And I'll select that laser. So our template is the entity we're going to create the helix out of. In this case, I'm going to use a toy cube. Wrong section. Uh, sorry, I'm in cylinder. I think it'll look nicer. And let's change the color because why not? Make it nice purple. So the template parameter is going to be the custom groups that are included in the scripts. Um, if you need to learn how to use those, there's a tutorial in the description. And here you'll quickly see roughly how to use them. So I'm going to duplicate this entity label, which is the uh, custom group. And I'm going to add this toy cylinder to it. I'm then going to position it so that the Z, the Z in your helix is going to face outwards. and the X is the direction of the helix. So we want to place it roughly on this corner. Each um, different generating structure will have a, a different ideal place to place the pivot of your group. And you can find more information on that on the specific tutorials. I'm just going to have it rough for now. So in my lever, I want that as my template. And the object width is going to be the length of the toy cylinder. So I'm again going to use a laser measure, this time the blue one, the inwards one. I'll bring that over and make sure it's intersecting. And we 
I'll select that. So that should be our helix done. Now let's generate some stones along this path. I'm going to grab myself a stone. Let's use this one. So this time, instead of using a custom group, I'm going to use another, um, I'm going to use an entity template. And I'm going to select this stone. In my lever, um, we're going to go to follow path and select the first one here. The first parameter is our path, select that. And the template is going to be the entity template. So you can choose between using a custom group and an entity template here. More commonly, you will use a custom group because having fine uh, or being able to position and rotate the pivot of an entity is kind of mandatory for most of the generating scripts. For here, it's not um, such a big deal because I actually want to space the stones out a bit as well. Instead of measuring the size of the stone, I'm going to give it a, a gap of 0 0.5 between them. The script uh, will automatically um, work out whether you're using an entity template or a custom group and will do the correct things. You don't need to worry about that. Let's test this out. Okay. We pull this lever. There we go. A beautiful purple helix. You can see here. You can still even pick pieces from it. Um, if we turn off pickable in, in on, on this toy cylinder, then we won't be able to. And over here, we have our stones. You can see they rotated to follow along the path. So this was a general guide to using the generating scripts, but there will be written tutorials that provide more in-depth information like where you should be positioning your group pivot and how you should rotate it to get the results that you want. Um, and I'll link in the description a link to the main um, page where you'll find the tutorials.